In this video, we will make an example of Google Maps, which is often used when developing Android applications. If you watch the whole video, you will be able to easily add Google Maps to your Android mobile applications. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. We created empty projects in other videos of the playlist. In this video, create a Google Map project as we will make a Google Map application. First, set the Gradle extension settings of the project. Sync Gradle extension settings we made. A special web address is created for each Google Map project. Your project may have a different web address. Copy the web address in your project and go to this web address in your internet browser. To go to this address and create a Google Map specific to your project, your Google account must be open in your web browser. Press Continue. Generate an API key. Copy the key created specifically for you to use in your project. Use the key you copied in your project. You can delete information rows in your project. Run your project to check your map. SIDNET is automatically set as the starting position in our project code. That's why the map started in Sydney. Let's change that. I want it to start in New York when the map Android app is launched. For this I need the latitude and longitude of New York. I can find this out with a simple search on the internet. Now use the latitude and longitude of New York in our code. Change the variable names to suit New York. Run the program. As you can see, the map starting position is New York instead of Sydney. When the map starts, let's add the zoom feature and get closer to New York. We can use the zoom function for this. Sets the zoom setting to 15F and float data type. You can try different numbers like 10, 12. Generally, the zoom settings of the maps are 15F when developing mobile applications. Let's run it again and check if the zoom function works. As you can see, we have changed the starting position and zoom settings of the map using the latitude, longitude, and zoom properties. Let's create a Google Map Android application by improving what we have learned. Delete previous application codes. Define the two variables that we will launch later for the Google Android application in your code file. Synchronize the listener function that we will create later with the click listener function to assign a task when click the map. To start later, set the location manager variable we defined as location service. Likewise, create an object function with the location listener variable we defined. Transfer the required function in the object. As you can see, we transferred the onLocation changed function from within the object. In this function, when the user location changes, we will code what we want to do. First, clear the map when the user location changes. Create a variable for the new location. Create a marker indicating the new location and a title indicating it. Zoom the map to 15F scale to see the new location better. Create an address modifier variable to specify the location. Let's use the try catch method to avoid errors when specifying a new address. Create a new address list variable using the address editor variable we created. 
When creating the address list variable, we take the maximum result as 1 to get the most accurate result. If the address list object is greater than 0, we can print it to the console screen. Show any error in the application to the user using the catch method. Create an if query to ask the user for permission. If the user has not yet agreed to provide location information, ask the user for this permission. Get location information using Location Manager if allowed by user. In the location information, features such as minimum time and minimum distance are requested from us. This is the sensitivity it will show to the user when the new location is marked. These values are generally preferred on the 1 millisecond and 1F scale. Create a variable for the last known location using the getListNownLocation function. If the last known location is not null, create another variable for the last location. Create a marker for the last known location and a title that indicates it. As we did before, zoom in on the map at 15F scale to get a better view of the location. We use the manifest folder in our project file to request any permissions from the user. When starting the project, instead of an empty project, we created a Google Maps project, so the location permission from the user should be automatically added to the manifest file. Create the permission result function to create an action when the user is granted access to the user location information. If it is allowed by the user, that is, if the request code is 1, get the new location information by using Location Manager and adjusting the sensitivity properties. Notice that after the request code if query, we do two more similar if queries. These if queries have a similar structure and are made to avoid errors. Create an object to give a task when clicking on the new location on the map. Add the function inside the object. When clicking on the new location on the map, first clear the map. Create an address editor variable. If the location P0 is not null, define an address string variable. We will use the try catch method to avoid errors. Get the address list using the geocoder address editor. Take the maximum result as 1 to avoid errors. If the address list is not null and the address list street name is not null, add the street name of the address to the address string. Also add the street number to the address string if the address list is not null. Use the catch method to show any error in the application to the user. Add a marker indicating the new location and add the address string to its header. Run the program and test it. The program throws an error. Let's solve this. We used the listener function while creating a listener. But we used clicklistener function in listener variable. It gives an error because these two functions are not the same. Let's fix this. When creating mmap, replacing listener function with clicklistener function will solve the problem. Run the program again. As you can see, when the program launch, it asks the user for permission to access the user location. Allow app to access user location. Note that the phone emulator in our app is a fictitious phone. Let's create an imaginary location by clicking here.
I created Brooklyn as an imaginary location in the map searches section in the location section. Click the set location button and create the location. Run the program again. When you run the program, your map will start at the imaginary location. Let's click on the location we want to go. Click on the marker and then click on the directions tab. Directions will be prepared for you automatically. In addition, you can learn your user location information with the address string we created by going to the logcat tab in the project. In this tutorial video, we made an application related to Google Maps, which is often used while developing the Android app. Do not forget to develop this application and use it in your projects. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.